Hello, my sisters and brothers. God bless all of you. So, um, you know, I went to prayer about this candle glass that I did a video about. And, you know, I felt really bad because a lot of people told me that they've already purchased the glass candle. And, you know, I got the vision yesterday and I didn't put the video up until today. So I felt kind of bad about that. And I went into prayer to make sure that the vision that I had was accurate. And once I came back on my channel, I found this comment and it says, Amen, sis. I love candles. A few months ago, I tried a new kind. It was in a glass. It was round about five inches across, four inches high. The Lord showed you this for a good reason. These candles do not receive enough oxygen to burn once they are burnt halfway. I couldn't use it after that point. I knew after that I would never get one like this again. So I guess the worst that can happen with this is that once it reaches the halfway point, um, you cannot use it anymore. So I just wanted to put everybody at ease with that in case, um, in case you are not. <laughs> so I'm glad that the Lord led this person to leave this comment. Also, what I wanted to talk about is ever since I made this video today, I think like about 14 people unsubscribed. I've gotten so much bad comments, which is so weird because I've made about four or five other videos about the three days of darkness and I've never gotten not one bad comment. The worst that I've got was, this is not biblical, can you prove it to me? That's it. So it just goes to prove that, you know, the Lord is separating the wheat from the chaff. Everything that's happening right now is supposed to happen. Nothing is by coincidence with God. So I believe that's exactly what's happening. Those who are going to receive this message and do what they're supposed to do um, in preparation for the three days of darkness are the wise, the beloved, uh, the bride, and those who are seeking the Lord with all their heart and soul. That's it. Um, so, you know, for the people who are leaving me comments and all that, you don't have to leave me a farewell, goodbye comment or explaining why you decided to leave. You're grown. I respect that, you know, God didn't force anybody to, um, you know, to receive his word. He simply spread the gospel and he respected your free will. If you decided to receive it, then that was completely up to you. So if he didn't force it, I certainly won't either. It's absolutely your choice. So um, I just wanted to talk about that really quick. And now that I have, we're going to move on. So I received something from a friend of mine about the black hole. I'm just going to read it really quick. It says, an international scientific team on Wednesday announced a milestone in astrophysics. <laughs> Astrophysic, um, the first ever photo of a black hole using a global network of telescopes to gain insight into celestial objects with gravitational fields so strong no matter or light can escape. So um, this is basically talking about what's going to trigger the, um, what do they call it, the lights, the colorful lights in the sky. There's a term for it a name I, I can't remember it right now but um and you know from the visions after the lights in the sky that's going to be visible for the whole world to see after that um i i hear a couple days after that the three days of darkness will happen so this came out today i will leave the link in the description box so you guys can read it because i didn't I'm so like, <laughs> I hate reading, so I didn't read all of it. I just read like the specifics. So um, that's very, very um, interesting, I think. All right. So I also saw the number 1022, and I looked it up in Hebrew, and it had nothing to do with nothing about my life. So whenever that happens, I look it up in uh, the Bible. And as soon as I put in 1022, guess what showed up? Exodus 10 22 and Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days what are the odds oh my goodness anyways you know there's actually another video that I'm gonna leave in the description box um, torchbearer if anybody saw Carrie Ann's video um, he kind of goes into detail about the three days of darkness and she left a link in her description box. And I'm going to do the same because I think he did a really good job. So um, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. 
no that's basically it so my main thing was the candles so the worst thing that can happen with those candles is that the halfway point I'm trying to find the picture again so anybody who's just now coming on the channel where are you um just go to my last video that I did and it shows the um the candle that I was referring to so that's the worst that can have happen um, it's basically like you're getting half of a candle I can't find it alright so God bless you all and I will talk to you soon